yeah, I was always good at numbers. My first um, concentration in college was stats. I thought I wanted to do like be like a statistician. And then that got boring very fast. So I ended up getting like five general ed, different like general degrees at a community college. And then finally, like the career counselor was like, you have to leave this place at some point. Like stop just getting different AA degrees. And so I just chose business when I went to university and got pregnant my right before I started there. So I was going into my junior year, got pregnant, and so went to the career counselor. And I was like, what do I have to major in that like 100 percent chance I'm going to have a job when I graduate because I'm having a kid? And they told me accounting, which at first I was like, shit. Can I cuss on here? A hundred fucking percent. Okay, great. Actually, the more the merrier. <laughs> was uh, Were you like shit because that sounded boring? Yeah. Yeah. Super boring. Like, I loved the marketing. You could concentrate in marketing in business or entrepreneurship, but... That explains yeah. why, you, why you're like you are then. Yeah, exactly. So... Because have you ever tried to walk into a bar and have a beer with an accountant before? The old stuffy accountant like, stereotype. Oh, my God. Very boring. Yeah. Uh, zero ability to think outside the box. No, not a creative bone in their body. And I worked with them for 10 years. And you, um, your first job out of college was at like the cream of the crop firm yeah. out in the Bay Area mm -hmm. where you're making no money. They're treating you like an associate, probably just wearing you out with work and you yeah. can barely even buy top ramen to survive. Literally, I was going into more and more debt every month. And they had sleeping pods on our floor because we were just expected to work there so Hold much. Hold on. Really? Yes. They look like a tanning bed. And you like. Oh, I'm familiar. Yeah. You like cl enclose it. It's like a weird spaceship type thing that it drowns out the noise so you can take a nap and then Sounds keep working. Sounds like some shit off Ex Machina or something. <laughs> what? I don't think I'm working anywhere. First of all, I can't be inside for more than like two hours in a row. Well, I guess unless I'm asleep, but I yeah. sleep outside all the time. Really? Yeah. I'm just, I just go nuts inside. Just great. Cause I wanted to be a lawyer. Like your backyard. You just, I have many times I have an air. If it's cold out, uh -huh. plus I snore like a freight train, all the broken noses from mm -hmm. this bad boy. I just go out there, jump on that thing, pull the sleeping bag over. Like it was nice and cool overnight last night. <laughs> I found myself inside last night. You slept night. outside last night. Last night I did not. The night before I did. Okay. So, you know, I don't know what my neighbors think because <laughs> they're in a two-story. I don't know if they're looking down and going, the hell? But, yeah, I'm I'm out there, man. Absolutely. Okay. The uh, – so you show, you, you show up at work and you have to put in like a 20-hour day to where you would – did you ever use a sleeping pod? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I had a newborn when I started there, so I was – Already like not sleeping, you know. Um, so you got a you went to work. You got a break. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> away from the newborn, you look. Is this like that? But it pulls oh all gosh. the way over you. Yeah. Yep. Like a tanning bed. Yep. Do you uh, do you get to pick like some sort of white noise or anything no. like that? No, it wasn't that fancy. Although now they probably have. You know, DJs in there or something. <laughs> and you could just use that white noise this is app like on your phone. like pre-AirPod days, you know? Yeah, way, way back. Yeah. Don't date yourself too hardcore now. <laughs> That's still pretty crazy. That's a lot of work. Yeah. So you're, you were just on a hamster wheel of, of, of just a downward spiral there then if you're working but still going into worse debt because the living expense is out there so out of control. Yeah, I mean, it's wild. You think... So they, they teach you in school that if you make it to the big four in accounting, then you've you've made it, right? You're the top of your class. You passed the 12 different interviews that you have to pass to get there. And then they offer you $57,000 a year in the Bay Area, which rent, my rent at that time was $2,500 a month in the ghetto, like nothing fancy, plus daycare was $1,600 a month car payment, student loan payment, like there was just no way. 